Mel White was once a trusted advisor to the religious rights leadership. Christian himself, he married and had children, but was suppressing a secret. He was gay. He spent decades desperately trying to change his sexuality, even enduring exorcisms and electroshock treatment. They had me bring pictures of men, including myself, that I found attractive, and then they put in pictures of women and mixed them up. And they gave me the control so they wouldn't see themselves as abusers. And they said, when you see an attractive man, you turn up the power. And then we'll change it. And then when you see attractive women, we'll turn down the power. It was just that simplistic. So it's, it's almost Pavlovian, is it? That it's you, totally, you see a man, it's behavioral. Zap. Yeah, see a man, zap. None of it worked. Eventually, Reverend White embraced his homosexuality reconciling it with his Christianity. He now lives with another man and calls it a happy ending, but it only came after decades of confusion, shame and suffering. At one point, he slashed his wrists in front of his wife. I was bleeding and she was crying and, and we went to the hospital and after that she said, you know, you've been a good husband and a good father, but there's no reason for you to struggle like this. This isn't right. I love gay people. I just didn't want you to be one, and you are one. So let's, 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 let's separate. God loves him, and it breaks God's heart to see him so fouled up on this issue and other issues. I mean, you know, the bumper sticker, Jesus is coming again, and boy, is he pissed. <laughs> that bumper sticker applies here. I mean, it's breaking Jesus' heart. Mel White's experiences have turned him into a vocal critic of the conversion ministries and a campaigner for gay rights. He's training young people in the art of peaceful protest, warning them what they could face if they confront the religious right. <laughs> Dress so you gay. Are you gay? Are you gay? Is that what that's you are? Why we you like to have sex with little that's boys. Is that it? You like to rape little boys. That's what being gay is. It has nothing. It's not godly. It's ungodly. You're going to hell. You know that. You know you're going to hell. You're going to hell. I'm telling you this, man. You are really sad. All right. But I love you. We all been praying. Gays are killing themselves as much as being killed. And much of that is because they fail at the ex-gay movement. They feel like such a failure when God doesn't change them. Then they feel like, okay, I'm a failure and I should die. We have all kinds of people that I have buried who have left suicide notes that said, I didn't know how else to settle this. I couldn't make it right with God and I can't make it right with myself. And so I accuse the ex-gay movement of being a c complicit with murder all over this country and now around the world.